take a look at the fan page here, see if we are indeed live. I don't know. I don't know why I always have to do that. I always have to confirm that I'm live, even though technology seems to work. Well, I got the little live link on the top left corner here, so I think we're good to go. Okay, let me see. I, I don't see it yet. Come on, baby. And I want to post it. To pin it. There we go. Yeah, I do see you now. That's awesome. And we've got some viewers. So pinned to the top of the page. Hey, everybody. Joel here. I got an amazing individual, uh, somebody who's been in this industry for a while, a new friend of mine. Uh, Daniel and I have never worked together before, but uh, he's a pretty amazing individual uh, who's really kicking butt in now lifestyle. Um, I This is going to be fun for me too, folks, because there's not a lot that I know about Daniel's background, except for that he's super cool, super laid back, and uh, definitely a professional, and fun to work with. You know, uh, you look for certain key characteristics in people, and just when they're always positive and always in a good mood and seem to be just rolling with the punches, uh, you know, those are the types of people you want to work with. So anyway, welcome, Daniel. How are you, buddy? What's going on? Good morning to you there in uh, Texas. It's uh, afternoon here in New Hampshire, so... Yeah, it's 11 here. Anybody on the, on the, maybe we have on the West Coast, welcome. Um, so yeah, I, you know, uh, he caught my attention. You know, one thing I want to tell everybody now, a lot of people say, well, how do I catch the attention of leaders? It's called do something. That's it. That's all. <laughs> it's pretty you simple. Your business <laughs> and you're going to catch the attention of a lot of people. And, and that's, that's very, very true. You know, like, there's a lot of people who join this industry um, who, and I've said this, Daniel, to a lot of people, you don't, you don't, it, it's a mind shift. That's it. You don't have to have all the resources in your brain. You just have to be resourceful. So the minute you start signing up even one or two people, you see the first thing you said to me the other day, Oh my God, it's so cool. My team's starting to what do duplicate and replicate. And obviously those people that are replicating are the people that you're working with directly. But anyway, welcome, sir. Um, give, give us your background. I, I know you shared a little bit of it with me, but um yeah, guys, he's he's doing exceptionally well already. And uh, over to you, my friend. Yeah, thanks, Joel. First off, I, uh, I thank you and I appreciate you having me on here because uh, one of the things that I'm going to share with you guys today is I'm, I'm just a normal dude. Um, I, I just work out of my home right now and I'm my home office in, in Derry, New Hampshire, which my home office is also my house. But, it, you know, it wasn't always like this for many, many years. I was a, I was a working stiff and, uh, you know, everyone says go to my nine to five. But for me, it was more like, uh, six to five, six in the morning till five in the afternoon, because I had a salary job as a, as a retail store manager for uh, a big box home improvement retailer. I'm sure you guys would know the name if I said it. Um, but I did that for a long time. And, but for me, I've always been enamored with network marketing. Uh, I'm 39 years old now. And ever since I was 24 years old, uh, I got, I first got introduced to network marketing. I was actually working, um, you know, for another big, uh, retail grocery store. I know they're headquartered actually down in Austin, Texas. And um, I was literally working in the receiving area and I uh, was going up to the front of the store. And uh, one of the girls that I was friends with, she was, she was on break. She was sitting down in the, uh, in the cafe in the front of the store and she had uh, all these brochures spread out all over the place. I was like, Oh, what's going on there? She's like, Oh, you know, I'm taking a little trip, but uh, Hey, what are you doing tonight? And I was like, I don't know why, what's up? She's like, Oh, I'm going to this party. I was like, cool. I'm single. I'm 24. Yeah. I'll go to a party. Cool. You know? And, uh, she's like, yeah, come on, you know, meet me, uh, meet me at my house at whatever. And then we'll, we'll go there. I was like, all right, sure. Cool. So I go to this, this party. And next thing I know I'm laying on the floor and someone's rolling like this magnetic ball up and down my back. And I was like, what the F is this? Like, <laughs> this, is, this isn't the party I thought it was going to be. And, uh, <laughs> so long story short, I end up buying some of the products and then one of the, you know, one of the, you know, the, the high level, uh, reps that were there, she like whispers in my ear. She's like, Hey, you'd be really good at this. I was like, oh, I don't want to be selling magnets, but whatever. So I bought some of the products. And then about a month later, I ended up joining the business. And then, so you can imagine this as a 24 year old, uh, you know, I was, I was working, I was playing in a rock band and that was really my focus at the time is just, I didn't you know, know. What did you play? I'm just curious in a rock band. Were you uh, I've, been play, I've been playing guitar since I was 10. I also play bass. I mess around with drums, but, uh, love playing guitar. That's cool. That's Love cool. playing guitar. Yeah. Got a little jam session area in my basement. So it's fun. Yeah. My son just decided that he was, he, he took guitar lessons when he was a kid. Uh, he's now 16 and he said, dad, I want to start learning how to play the guitar again. And, he, and I said, why? He goes, cause he gets the chicks. Okay. <laughs> he's smart. 
Yeah, he's smart. He's smart, for sure. But anyway, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off there, but it's just kind of cool, you know? Yeah, it's all right. You can do it from time to time. So, um, lost my train of thought. Anyway, yeah, so, you know, picture yourself 24, and you get introduced to this business, and now all of a sudden I'm like a business owner at 24. No freaking clue what I was doing. But then I started seeing the vision a little bit, and then I started to have lunches and dinners with some of the people that were really making the money. I mean, I literally... I went to this other home party, but this time I knew what it was. And I sat down with one of the top leaders in the company. And this guy is cool as a cucumber, just sitting down, chilling. I mean, he's probably 50 something years old and he's just calm talking to me. And he's, and he takes out this three ring binder and he starts showing me these pictures, all these places that they've been all around the world. And then he flips, he has photocopies of his paychecks. And he's like, oh yeah, this is where we were last month. It was over $300,000 in one month. And I was like, Okay. That's an eye opener when yeah. people don't even make that in a year or two, you know? Yeah. So literally after he, he showed me that, I was like, all right, I'm going to do this. And then I had the absolute, I had a brilliant idea. I was like, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to quit my job. I'm going to go full time into network marketing. At 24. At 24. Well, and guess what happened? You mean at that time, how long were you in the, in the industry by that point? A few months. Wow. <laughs> so, but guess what happened? I fell on my ass because I had no idea what I was doing. Mm -hmm. And I ended up going back to work. So long story short, fast forward over the last 15 years, I dabbled in like four different network marketing companies and I never really committed to go all in because I think at the time for me, while I was involved in these, in these various companies, it was just all about the money. It was all about the money. I just, I just wanted the cool cars. I wanted to travel the world and, you know, whatever you guys have heard a lot of those phrases about people traveling the world full time and, you know, working from their laptop, the laptop lifestyle, all that stuff all sounded great. But with that mentality, at least for me, at least for me, I wasn't able to fully commit myself. So fast forward to literally last January, I wasn't doing anything. And my wife, she gets sponsored by her cousin into yet another network marketing company, but this is my wife. And she makes a little run at it. And she actually moved up a couple of ranks. She got a thousand dollar bonus. So that kind of started stirring the flame up again. And I was like, man, you started right. getting competitive with, with your wife, huh? Yeah. But in a good way, because obviously it's just going to, it's going to benefit the family. Uh-huh. So I'm like, all right, babe, sponsor me in. Let's do this. Let's, let's, you know, kick butt and we'll do it as a family. So she sponsors me in and then I make, I literally take out, take out my book and I make my make my hundreds list. And I come up with like 330 names in a month and a half, like six weeks in, I burned through my, my hundreds list. I sponsored in a few people. And next thing I know, I literally, I get business cards. I'm in the mall in New Hampshire, which is 12 miles up the road. Um, I'm walking around, I'm passing out business cards. I'm trying to, trying to support my family, trying to do whatever I can still working a job, doing my thing. Um, and then I, I just, I knew there was a better way. I, I definitely knew there was a better way. And now this time, this go around compared to, you know, when I was 24, it's much different. The internet created so many more opportunities. And I started doing some research on YouTube. And as I was searching on, re- on YouTube, I came across this guy named Nick Anderson. And if you guys don't know who he is, look him up. He's in Now Lifestyle. Uh, he's a great digital entrepreneur. And I think one of the things that I, I bonded with him because right now he's 24 years old and he's mature beyond his years for sure. And he's an amazing individual and he's where I wanted to be when I was 24. And I think that's what first drew me in, but he's also, he's just a real dude. So I started watching his videos on YouTube and then I learned about this really cool thing. I learned about this new amazing thing called a sales funnel and a capture page. And I was like, wow, that sounds really cool. Man, that would make my life so much easier if I could figure out how to use that. So fast forward a couple of months, now we're July. So now we're last July, July of 2016. He sends me a text message and he says, hey, I'm getting involved with this new thing. You may want to take a look at it. So I did. And I'm like, man, this looks good. This looks really good. Um, You know what? Maybe I'm just going to. Now, is this Nick you're talking about? Yeah, this is so okay. Nick had reached out to me. Okay, and well, told, I just want to share one part without, you know, screwing up your, your, cause I do that too. It's like I'd lose my train of thought. But understand this, folks, the power of the networking, okay? I, 
I knew of Nick Anderson, but I only finally actually met him in person maybe two mo- a month and a half ago. Okay. And I honestly and wholeheartedly believe had I not met this individual in person and created, you know, an instant bond with him, um, then you and I wouldn't be talking right now, Daniel, because I don't think he would have joined that lifestyle. And that's part of the value, folks. I want you to let you know that the internet does do so much, but you never know who you're networking with. So anyway, anyway, back over to you, uh, uh, Daniel. But I, I wanted to share that with people that I don't think you would have been here had I not met Nick in person. You know? Yeah, I agree. And I'm a 100% firm believer in everything happens for a reason. And <clears throat> a little bit later in my story, I'm going to talk about um, some affirmations and really committing to yourself and committing to your own personal development. Because if I wasn't doing those things, I literally would not be here live with you. I would not be uh, working full time from home now, but uh, we'll get to that. And so I, I sign up for this opportunity and about a couple of days into the training, I'm literally sitting right downstairs with, with my wife. And this is where I'm going to get into a little, a little bit of backstory of why I made the decision. And I'm literally sitting downstairs at our, our dining room table with my wife. And um, she has a huge stack of bills in front of her. And I have a stack of bills in front of me. And you know, typical American or just any couple that goes through life. We have a son. His name is Lucas. And I don't know how well you can see the photo there. But that's, uh, that's my little guy right there. He just, uh, he just turned three back in January. Yeah, part of your why, but anyway. Oh, yeah. Just 100%. And um, so we're sitting down there and, uh, you know, she, she uttered the words like this life. And for me, that was like someone just took a dagger and jammed it into my ribs and twisted. Uh, and that is the day, uh, July 15th, 2016. That's the day that I made my decision um, to go all in and, and never look back. And the reasons why is because the stack of bills things, you know, my wife had a stack of bills, all hospital bills, because our son, Lucas, he has a lot of unknowns. And the first four months of his life, he was in the NICU. He had a, he had a skin disorder. Um, everything with him is still undiagnosed. We don't actually have a technical um, a diagnosis for him. So he had some breathing problems. He was on a CPAP machine. We spent 129 days straight in the hospital and it was just, you know, it was a a terrible time. It made us stronger as a couple, I can tell you that. And obviously that's our why. And then kind of fast forward through, you know, three years of just constantly going to these different appointments and everything, you know, the bills, (laughs) the bills freaking stack up and it's no joke. But, um, you know, I mean, even as of right now, there's a, there's, a, a disconnection between his brain function and his, his muscle control. So like he can't pick things up. He can't crawl. He can't walk. He can't speak. Uh, we feed him through a port in his stomach. So we have to, uh, we have a special blender. We have to blend up his food and um, feed him through a port. So <clears throat> part of, of making that decision was knowing, knowing that there's unknowns. Um, you know, for me, the one thing that I wanted to be sure of in my life that when I made that decision to go all in is like our little, like, we don't know what's going to happen with him. We don't know if he's ever going to start to develop certain in certain areas. But one thing we do know for sure is that he is never going to have to worry about money. Whenever we want to do something, he's going to, you know, we're going to be able to provide for him. And um, so, you know, just to, you know, really solidify the fact that, you know, I was going to make that decision just literally a couple of months ago, you know, picture over the past three years, you know, it, for those of you guys that have kids, you know, you can imagine going the last three years, having something wrong with one of your children and not knowing what the hell is going on. It, it's, it puts a big strain on you. It puts a strain on your family. Um, you know, there's a lot of tough nights. <laughs> and um, so with the whole functionality thing in there, We've done a lot of DNA testing, a lot of, um, you know, uh, blood work and stuff like that. And I know I'm, I'm kind of drifting off of the whole market no, piece. No, but I'm, I mean, I'm gonna... first of all, uh, I, put in the, I put in the comments, so let's all say a prayer for your son's healing. Part of me is a little shocked uh, because, you know, my wife, my kids, and I've been blessed with three very healthy kids. But I would have never guessed these challenges because when I met you, you're just a super positive person, you know. And, and I guess 
you know, that's one of the characteristics that people need to have to have is, is a positive mindset, regardless of what's going on in your life. So my blessings to your son. Uh, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm a little quiet. I'm a, I'm a little taken back because I know what you're going through. Like, I mean, I just, I don't know personally, but my whole why for everything was my family. Um, so he, he'll get better, but uh, you're not going on a tangent. Keep, keep going. Dan. <laughs> well, I, like I said in the beginning, I mean, I, I, I believe a hundred percent in, in full on transparency and to kind of quote Gary Vaynerchuk, for those of you guys that know who he is, he's a great digital entrepreneur and he always talks about document, 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 and just always document your life. And, you know, cause you're going to have segments in different areas of your life and you're going to want to record that. So the one thing that you need to be good at either as a network marketer, an affiliate marketer, a digital entrepreneur, whatever you consider yourself, you want to be good at telling your story because that's going to brand you and that's who you are. And for me, I've had some practice over the last eight months since I made my decision. I've made a lot of videos. I've done a lot of webinars, some webinars with Nick, some webinars by myself, some web webinars with other folks. And, you know, I just, I, I'm, I'm still getting good at telling my story, but that's one thing that, you know, if you guys take anything from this, you know, get good at telling your story and get good at just branding yourself versus branding a company. Um, because people follow leaders, people follow, um, you know, strong people that are going to uh, help them produce results or help give them motivation or, or whatever it is. So just real quick back to, you know, where we were, I think it was back in, uh, back in December, my wife finally gets a call. She gets a phone call from one of the geneticists and we had several genetic tests done and we finally sent his results, our, all our family's results over to this lab in Germany and she gets a call and, you know, she's like, Hey, we, they, they finally figured out not a diagnosis, but they figured out what the issue was as to why the, you know, he's having this, this muscle development issue. And she's like, gene BCL 11 B, you know, some, someday I'll probably get that tattoo on me or something, but uh, it's a gene BCL 11 B and that's, there's a mutation or there's an abnormality in that specific gene. And that is the disconnect between brain function and muscle function. So it's like, all right, now we finally at least understand where there was a, a disconnect. Cool. And then she says, like, my wife's like, okay, so where do we go from here? And she's like, all right, well, as far as documented cases in the world of that gene abnormality, your son is the one of six kids in the world. Um, so that's a, uh, that can be a pretty tough pill to swallow sometimes. So, you know, with that, with that being said, when it was time to make a decision, that decision was concrete. And since that day, since that day that I made that decision, now for those of you guys that have families, spouses, significant others, whatever, I negotiated with my wife. I said, hey, listen, there's this thing. Let me show it to you. This is what I want to do. This is what I want to put my passion into, my time. Because, you know, she knew my back work, my, uh, my background in network marketing. And I just said, every night, we're going to put our son to bed about 8, 830, kiss him goodnight. Once he's asleep, I'm going to be in here in this office for one to two hours a night. And I'm not going to quit until we have the results that we want. And I'm working from home. So over the last eight months, I've literally, I've lived by that. You know, great. I take days off and stuff like that. But um, it took me about eight months to I can, to the point where I can get my income to a level where I could sustain our family, I could sustain the bills and, and all that stuff. Uh, I no longer work uh, a full-time job and I'm now working from home. And in the last eight months, I've made more money in the last eight months than I have in the last 15 years of network marketing. Wow. Because I made my decision, because I never quit. And, uh, you know, again, more transparency here. When I first launched with, um, you know, when I first launched with that, that business with Nick, uh, I spent thousands, thousands of dollars on solo ads. And out of that, I might have earned maybe a couple thousand dollars, maybe, but I spent way more and it just didn't pan out. And at that point, I could have said, I'm, I'm throwing in the towel. I'm done. It doesn't work. It's a scam, whatever it is. But I made my decision and then I found another way. I got into Facebook advertising. I started getting good results. 
And then I started outsourcing my Facebook ads to who is now someone I would consider a dear friend of mine. And she does an amazing job. And now it's like, I can kind of let her do her thing. And then I can focus on other things. I can focus on creating good email marketing content. I can focus my time on making YouTube videos. I can focus my time on uh, doing Zoom chats with my team and helping them out and making videos that are going to help my team. So ultimately, it's, it's going to come down to making a decision. Because at the end of the day, like you either want this or you don't. But you can't just dip your toes in the water. You can't, you know, hey, let me run 100 clicks of this solo ad and I'm just going to sit back and start rolling in bank. Like it doesn't work that way. You know, you might get lucky. You might sponsor one person, but realistically you just, the ultimate goal to succeeding and get to the level that you want is number one to decide and number two to never quit. If you can do those two things, you know, this business is really, really simple, but the industry is so good at overcomplicating it, but it's really not that hard. It's really not that hard. You just need to stay consistent, make your decision, and never quit. Yeah, I'm gonna take. A, I'm gonna take a drink. <laughs> sure, sure. No, no, that's that, that's great. Uh, am I muted? No, I'm not muted. Good. Um, it, yeah, it, it, it's it, it's unfortunate. I think a lot of people because your story, you know, my story is very different, but similar in many ways. And that sometimes your back needs to be put up against the wall. You need to hit that rock bottom to hit, make that ultimate decision of what you want to do with, you know, with your career and stuff like that. Uh, for me, uh, you probably don't know, Daniel, I, I was trying to become a professional natural bodybuilder and I actually got severe aspartame poisoning, which is the artificial sweetener. And I've got like nine lesions on my brain from it still now. And I went personally from 240 pounds for lean and muscular uh, down to about 150 pounds in three months. Uh, I had massive migraines every day of my life. And this, is, this isn't, to look for sympathy from anybody out there, but I just want them people to understand, you know, it's about that decision. So I got severely sick. I left my job. I wanted to quit my job anyway. And I don't share this with many people. I usually tell people that I quit my job at the hospital. I was doing cardiac stress testing. It was more or less I was forced to leave my job because the migraines were so debilitating that I started sitting in my basement with all the lights off and, and a very dim screen on my computer and started playing on the internet because I was not going to live off social security. I was not going to be some guy that, you know, depended on my family or anybody to, to be able to, to do something. And it was that massive decision that I took as well, that I'm going to do this full time and I'm never going to quit. Now you saw success way quicker than I did because I was pretty stupid. It, it took me two years to make a set for $9 and 97 cents. Uh, but you know, how many times did I say to myself, I'm done? I, I you know, I, 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 I either go on social security or I go get a part time job or I, whatever. And, and I just, I don't know, there was something that, uh, whether it's a higher being, whether it's a decision, whether I just wasn't going to give up and, and I didn't. And after that 997 sale, which is not a thousand dollars, folks, $9.97. Um, everything, everything at that very moment changed for me for the rest of my life because I knew finally it was possible. Not that I was going to get rich, but that it was possible to make money online. And I made that sale at three o'clock in the morning. And because of that paradigm shift in my mind, I think a month later, $2,000, a month later after that, $5,000, then a few months later, $20,000 a month. And it was only because of that paradigm shift. And the only thing that changed was my mindset. I took way more action. You know, it, it's kind of hard when you're going through those tough times. And, uh, you know, uh, and I think you'd agree, Daniel, that, you know, we're all human beings. And sometimes you're like, maybe this won't work out for me. M maybe, maybe this isn't the right path for me. You know, we all have those self doubts. And, uh, you know, so your story is very similar in many ways where, uh, I, I was the same for the first two years. I didn't make a penny, but then four months after making $9.97, I was making more money than most people uh, would, would make, you know, at, you know, out of the 20,000, probably 12 to 13,000 was pure profit. And uh, it was nice to tell people I told you so. I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure you feel the same way as well, but that wasn't <laughs> why. Um, 
keep going. I mean, I, I, I'm used to the guy talking most of the time. This is a great <laughs> story, man. Like, um, so what we're, aside from the massive mind shift and, you know, you shared some of the solo ads, one thing that you shared with me, and, and I know that's why your team is duplicating, is you go, you go above and beyond, which is not a lot of work, folks, but you, go, you certainly go above and beyond what the average network marketer will do to help train your team. Maybe um, talk about that a bit. What was the shift, aside from the massive action, to going from making very little in 15 years to making more in the past couple of years than you did in the past 15 years? Uh, well, I mean, obviously, uh, I'll focus mostly on on now lifestyle. So the people watching this can kind of have, I mean, because I'm sure there's current uh, distributors that are on here watching this too, looking for golden nuggets and ideas. So I'll, I'll drop some of those. I mean, number number one for me, which the the number one thing that I did to get results is just making the decision. And, you know, you're going to hit a roadblock. You're going to get pissed off. Like for me, like I in the last eight months, you think like everything was all like Skittles and rainbows? And like, no, like I, I've had bad days. I've had days where I was like, what the F am I doing? And, you know, I, man, I'm just not, I'm not getting the results I want. And it's, it's funny because that leads me into, it could lead into so many other topics here, depending on how long we want this to be. But um, like, I just made a, a video that I posted on my YouTube channel and I talk about that same topic because like I've had bad days and I know other people get frustrated and some people that point of frustration could be, you know, the average network marketer or the average affiliate marketer quits within their first 90 days. Well, why is it? Because they don't get the results that they were promised to them that they thought they were going to get or whatever the reason is. And they get stuck. They burn through their warm market or, you know, they didn't sign on the dotted line and all of a sudden they weren't a millionaire. Oh crap. Really? Like it didn't, yeah, it didn't make a million dollars last week. It didn't work. Like, Oh, I signed up for this $49 offer. And what do you mean? I'm not, I'm not going to be making $10,000 a month this month. So like when you get stuck, when you hit those roadblocks, like what do you do? And the video I just made talk specifically about, you know, I have those moments. I have those moments sometimes weekly, sometimes once a month, sometimes daily. And when that happens, what I like to do is I will literally just take the laptop and I'll close it. I will take the dogs for a walk. I will, for me, one of the things that helps me, and this is, you can write these two things down, is I'll, I'll, go, I'll take the dogs for a walk and I, I'll listen to, I'm, I'm not a big reader. I just, it was one thing I, I know I should. And I know, especially in like this type of entrepreneurial environment, they talk about, you know, your, your, the size of your book collection determines like, you know, all your personal development, all that good stuff. But for me, like I'm an audio guy, I listen to audio books. So while I'm taking the dogs for a walk, two of my favorites, like two of my go-tos when I just want that little, that little pick me up. I like uh, Jen Sincero, you are a badass. I think that's a great, that's a great book, Got that one. but the audio book is great because it's narrated by her number one. And number two, like, her and I must be like on the same wavelength because she's witty. When she reads it, you can hear the sarcasm. You could hear the tone in her voice. She swears. I like to swear. So, I mean, it's just like that for me is a great one. It also gives me the, it gets the juices flowing. It gives me the golden nuggets. It, it gets me motivated again. One of the other books that I like, or the audio books that I like is, see, there you go. There you go. I mean it too. Yes. you saying. Uh, Secrets of the Millionaire Mind by T. Harv Eker. And that's another one too, because he literally talks, there's, I don't remember what chapter it is in that book, but he specifically talks about if you want to be a successful entrepreneur, you have to live on the very edge of your comfort zone. And for me, like literally over the last few months, I, I, I was living on the edge of the comfort zone. Like we were living uh, paycheck to less than the next paycheck. And, you know, it, like, like I said, it wasn't all, Skittles and rainbows, but I pushed myself because I knew that I made my decision and I knew, I knew what the result was going to be. Ooh. And I didn't give up on the fact I knew what the result was going to be. Um, because I say daily affirmations, I write my goals down. I mean, I don't know if it's kind of tough to see, but I got like my vision board right there, like with all my pictures. And I even have a, a personal check uh, for my business account written out to myself that I'm going to pay myself a uh, hundred thousand dollars at a certain point in time. Um, but like, those are my goals. And so when you get stuck, you know, go to 
YouTube, watch a video on network marketing, affiliate marketing. Uh, you know, if there's something specific, a specific niche that you're in, uh, listen to an audio book, read a book, do something to get unstuck. Don't just sit there because a lot of the times what happens when people get stuck, they start flipping through Facebook and how many people are trolling Facebook or saying, hey, my offer is better than yours. My, hey, look at this big shiny object right here. You mm -hmm. could make money. And people think that the grass is greener somewhere else or they're going to look somewhere else because it's easier. Oh, yeah. you know what? If I join this affiliate opportunity, it might be easier for me to make money because I'm stuck now. This guy's doing good. Let me go follow him. But it's, you guys got to realize this, that no matter what business that you're in and you know, I guess we'll, we'll name names, whether it's, you know, Avon, MCA, Mary Kay, it works, digital altitude, now lifestyle. It doesn't matter. Like they are all good companies with good CEOs, with a good product. Your success depends on you, not your sponsor, not your company and not your product. Okay. Your success does not depend on your CEO, your company, or your product, your success depends on you. So I think when you get stuck, you just need to unstuck yourself. If, if that's even a phrase or a word, but, um, and, and for me, a lot of the times, like I said earlier, like affirmations were a big thing for me. And I know a lot of people don't get into them, especially saying them out loud. And people think they're corny. People think that, uh, oh, that stuff doesn't work. I'm going to give you a little background story. And again, talking about being transparent here. When I was driving to work in beautiful 83 mile commute, I had a lot of, I had a lot of time on my hands. So I would listen to audiobooks. I would say my affirmations. Sometimes I would say my affirmations over and, and over and over and over again. And I'll actually, I'll say them for you here, just so to give you guys an idea of what was going through my head on this journey to where I'm at now. And Half of the affirmations were family. Half of the affirmations were about business. Okay. So I would say, you know, I'm thankful for my family. I'm thankful for my beautiful wife, Katie. I'm thankful for our amazing son, Lucas. I'm thankful for our beautiful home. I'm thankful for my now lifestyle business. And the fact that by the time I'm 40, I'm going to be earning a minimum of $45,000 a month and retired from corporate America. I'm thankful that money flows to me effortlessly. I'm thankful for all of the people I get to help. I'm thankful for all of the leads and all of the new affiliates that will flow into my business today. Now, I said those over and over again. And specifically, you know, it's all about, it's all about your mindset. And specifically, when I said, I'm thankful that money flows to me effortlessly, I pictured the email notifications that you have a new distributor. I pictured the money in my bank account. I pictured clicking on my commissions in my back office and seeing the money there. And fast forward, like when I was saying that to today, um, again, kind of to be, to be transparent here, I would say every single day, I'm thankful that money flows to me effortlessly. And I got to tell you this, that you have to be careful what you ask the universe for, because if you are specific enough and if you are determined enough the universe has a funny way of making, making shit happen because while I was still at my job, I used to say, I'm, I'm thankful that money flows to me effortlessly. Well, when I left that job, I wasn't planning on this, but when I left that job, I got a severance package. I got my bonus. I got some extra money. I had some money in an old account that I completely forgot about for the last 15 years that I realized was there, which happened to be a few thousand dollars. Turns out when I started working from home, I had a nice little nest egg I was sitting on wasn't expecting or seeing any of that because the only thing that I was envisioning was the money that was going to be coming into my business. However, because I constantly thought about the fact that money flows to me effortlessly, well, guess what? Money did flow to me effortlessly. effortlessly. It didn't come from a source that I thought it was going to, which is messed up, but, but guess what? There it was in my bank account. So guess what I did? I took that money I took some of it and I invested it into Facebook advertising. I invested it into my business. And now my business is literally just on autopilot in the background, cranking along. And in the last couple of months, I mean, I've had the best months of my life and I've been able to do it right here from home. 
you know, was it from the affirmations? Was it from the fact that I made my decision? Is it a combination of everything? I don't know, but I can tell you that I'm no guru. I'm no, you know, superstar, whatever it is. But the one thing that I am is consistent. I am damn consistent. And ever since I made the decision with my wife to go all in that this is what we were going to do. This is what I was going to do. Um, I made the decision with myself first and then I committed to it with my wife, with our son. And ever since that day, I have had the same exact routine day in and day out. You know, I do my emails, I make my videos, I reach out to my team. I do certain things every single day and I'm consistent and I have never stopped since I made that decision. Well, I know you're consistent because I'm on your newsletter and I see your two to three emails a day, you know, so, and, and really, yeah, that, that's, I personally believe it's a combination of everything. I think it's a, a combination of people starting with being grateful first. Uh, my affirmations, I say first thing in the morning every day, what I'm grateful for, uh, while I'm still in that Delta phase, you know, just coming out of sleep. And, and that's really helps set your day in motion for creativity, for positive energy, for all those things. Uh, but yeah, you're, you're hearing, you know, this, this is one of the more powerful webinars we've done because we have a very compelling story, uh, but the consistency is the key. I, you know, what, because so, so many people I see not be consistent, people will buy solo ads and send one email and get one hate mail and never email that list again or, or whatever. What, 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 parts help you stay consistent in your business because yeah most people are not consistent at all then you know well I'll, I'll tell you yes you you have to have thick skin and you just you just need to re like every single thing that i could explain to you i can i can circle it all the way back to making that decision because you know with my facebook ads with emails like i've had people send me emails and say like you blanky this you blankety blank blank you know you're <laughs> You're stealing money from the poor, and this is a scam. And, and you blank for like five minutes, but anyway. And you're, and you're a jerk, and F you, you scammer. And you know what I do? Like, if it's on Facebook, if it's on Facebook and they comment, like, on one of my posts, obviously I'm going to delete their comment so nobody else has to look at that crap because that's what it is. And they probably hate life because they're stuck in a rut that they can't get out of. But since I made that decision, I don't really care. I don't let it affect me. Mm -hmm. And I give them, if somebody hates on me, I give them an all access pass. I give them an all access pass to the block party. They can go out and hang out with all the other negative people out in the world because I block them from my page and I don't, I won't ever see them again. Mm -hmm. And that's it. So I literally just block them and I move on. If I get, if I get an email from somebody that says, you know, you're blankety blank this or blankety blank that, or you're stealing money from the, <laughs> the poor or whatever it is, then again, I just block them and I keep going. So once you make that decision, none of that stuff's going to affect you. You know, if you, if you're, if you're letting that stuff get to you, take a breath, close your laptop, put your phone down, go for a walk, take a breath, listen to an audio, recheck your head and get, get back in the game, you know, yeah. but don't, and, don't and let really that stuff get to you. People want to do that to you because they're looking for a response. They want to create that negativity in that fight. I, I'm in the same way. Last summer, somebody got me really good on the fan page. And Daniel, we must have gone back and forth. I don't know why he got me, but it was the last time I said, anybody's going to get me. Uh, he, he said something about integrity, you know, and running a technology company, we can screw up all the time. You know, things can go wrong. Things can go down. You can plan for any type of worst case scenario, but things can happen. So I'm always transparent. Hey, this is what happened. You know, like uh, we've been adding new stuff to now lifestyle, whatever the case may be. But this guy personally attacked my integrity of whatever. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make, folks, is, uh, you know, Marshall Silver says it well. The higher the levels, the higher the devils. It's going to happen to every single one. So when you start getting people hating on you, celebrate that because it is a form of success. It's a form of recognition. It's a form uh, of that, that you're doing the right thing and moving forward, you know, so um, yeah, I, I do the exact same as you. I just delete and ban, delete and ban, because you, you got to realize that it is nothing to do about you or Daniel or anybody else. It has everything to do about where they are in their life at that time. And that freezes a lot of people. Like, like you said, close your laptop, go for a walk, do whatever. Um, there, there's, there's a lot of people out there who, who just, yeah, they just, they're negative and, and 
it's, it's, a, it's a circumstance of where they're at in their life. It has nothing to do with your product, your service, your integrity, who you are. They're just looking for a fight. Um, so well, one yeah. quick thing, Joel, is, um, you know, you, you have to realize this. Like, if somebody hates on you, like, number one, like, not everybody's going to love you. True. Sorry. If, that, if, if, if you're sad by that, then get over it. Like not every, not everybody loves me. Not everybody thinks I'm the greatest thing since sliced bread. And I'm okay with that. Like similar to Gary Vaynerchuk, like I don't care what people think about me because I know in my heart of hearts that I provide value for my team. I provide value for people that I don't even know on YouTube, but I'm committed to do this because I made the decision back to that original part is that I'm, I'm going to care for this kid right here. That's my goal. That's my mission in life is him and my wife. I'm going to make sure that we never have to worry about money again. And we're going to be able to do whatever the hell we want to do because we made that decision. And one, put it a nice politically correct way, one jerk on Facebook. I wanted to say something else, but one jerk or one blankety blank in your email inbox or commenting on your post or, um, or whatever is is not don't let them keep you away from reaching your goals if you do then you haven't fully decided maybe maybe your why isn't strong enough yet and if it's not if it if it's not strong enough yet that's okay like you can for me i i always say this to me i've said this on other webinars that if your why doesn't make you cry like if you can truly sit there and think even just for a few minutes about like why you're really doing this, why you want to travel the beaches of the world to, uh, to provide a certain lifestyle for your family, whatever it is, if your why doesn't make you cry, then go get another why go find another reason that's going to drive you. So that way you never give up on your goals because you have that little, that little nugget sitting right in the back of your brain that you know that all you have to do is just think of that why and think of why you're doing this. And you're never going to quit. You're, you're like, you're going to hit a road bump. You're going to hit, um, you know, a fork in the road and not know what to do, but you'll figure it out. You know, you might not know how to do something. Maybe technically go look it up. Like you will figure out ways how to do things. You can get resourceful. You can reach out. You can ask for help. You can ask other people that are having success. And, you know, they, they say that, you know, if you want to, to plan your time right, you know, you want to spend 33% of your time with people that are above you that are getting better results than you. You want to spend 33% of your time with the people that are getting similar results to you. So you guys can mastermind, you can bounce ideas off and see what's working for some and not working for others. And then you want to spend 33% of your time with people that don't have the same results with you. So you can coach and you, you can motivate, teach and train and lift them up to your level. So you know, if you're off of that for one thing, I want one I, just because it, it makes a, a big point. I, you know, network marketing is about the person that's going to help people. The, 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 the last 33 percent who haven't seen the results. How do you know and how do you decide who you work with versus who you don't? Because there are some people highly coachable uh, who really have the fire in their belly and the mindset, but they need yeah, they need some acquired skills. But there's others who are like, like you said at the start, signed up, where's my million dollars? Like, where's, uh, we literally get signups at GVO every single day, um, because GVO is obviously still a bigger company that, okay, uh, I signed up yesterday, send my commission checks here. And, you know, so how, what is your litmus test? What, what do you look in those people that you're trying to bring to your level on who you work with and who you don't work with? Well, I mean, I'll keep it really simple for me. Like one of the things that I did for my team, and I mean, I also, I put the video out there on YouTube. So literally anybody watching this can go to my YouTube channel and watch it. Um, and I think it's just youtube.com forward slash Daniel J. Kump. I, I think, I think. Okay. Um, but I made a step-by-step instructional training video for anybody that comes onto our team. So basically for me down, mm-hmm. and I created an instructional step-by-step video with Now Lifestyle, and it's about 35, 40 minutes long. And it takes anybody because I wanted either the experienced marketer or someone that's brand new. They've never done anything like this in their life could literally watch that video. And I, and I literally walk you through and I'm like, I don't go through every single tab and say, you know, this is this, this is that, this is like, they can do that stuff on their own, but basically to get their business up off the ground, it's like, okay, go here, click reseller tools, click links, 
click this capture page number eight, take that, forward it to GoDaddy, go to GoDaddy, this is how you forward your domain name. P.S. I also have a video on YouTube that teaches you how to do that. Um, and then it's like, all right, now you want to set up your capture system. Click here, click this. You know, this is how you take your swipe copy, move it over here. This is how you change 30% of the copy around. And I go through all of that stuff. So literally at the end, by the time they watch that video, they are 100% set up and ready for traffic, organic traffic, paid traffic, Facebook advertising, whatever it is, their domain name's ready, their lead capture system is set up, their follow-up emails are set up, and they're good to go. So after I give them that training video, now I can see who takes action and who doesn't. And it's simple because someone, and the other thing too, golden nugget number, whatever you want to call this for this, is anybody that joins our team and pays the $49.95 or $49.97, whatever it is for the year, not people that are sitting down in the pending box and haven't done anything, but anybody that joins the team and we actually can plug them up into the binary system, mm -hmm. into the matrix, I have a group chat that is everybody on our team. And I created this group chat and we plug them in. We give them a welcome and say, hey guys, welcome Libby to the team. Welcome Leon to the team. Welcome, you know, uh, Shane to the team. And then everyone says, hey, welcome, welcome, welcome. And it's great because leaders start to emerge in that group. And for me as a leader, my time gets freed up because someone says, hey, how do I do X, Y, Z with the lead capture system? Boop, somebody else already answered the question. Yeah. Wow, cool. So now I'm starting to create team leverage and you can see certain people and then other people will start to ask questions and it just creates a bigger, stronger community. So, you know, if you guys are starting to build your teams, I would definitely suggest creating a group chat because, you know, one, you're going to see yeah, leaders. You're doing start a group chat in Messenger or you're creating a private Facebook group? No, I just do. I, we have a private Facebook group, but it's also anyone that's sponsored under me and several of my other affiliate offers as well, which is, I mean, it's still a good team environment. It's still a good team community, but the group chat that I'm referencing is specifically just in messenger. Okay. Um, and, you know, it's great because I mean, we share videos, we share ideas, we share files and it just creates this good team leverage. And you can tell when people are taking action because they'll say, Hey, I sponsored X amount of people today. Oh, I, I started running traffic. So you can see who's taking action, like who's participating in the group chat, who's not doing anything, who's not saying anything. You can see these things starting to take shape. So you know who you want to invest more time with and who you don't. Yeah, Really, these are some real golden nuggets, folks. Like, uh, so I would say, uh, go and create a, you know, as, you're, as an emerging leader, because there's many, what, what really jazzes me right now uh is there's many emerging leaders and we're not talking again a lot of people think okay well he made a million dollars here or there or 100 grand here or 10 grand there no i'm talking emerging leaders that are just taking action and creating duplication so that's a very good tip folks is create a facebook group I, i'm going to be very transparent with everybody as well here, here's the thing the reason why i didn't create a facebook group is because i've now been added to about 500 facebook messenger groups and for me personally, it overwhelms me, right? Because I want to go and help everybody. And that's, that's the whole point. So imagine if Daniel, like I'm not even in Daniel's group. He didn't add me. Maybe he did, but maybe he didn't. I, I don't think he did, right? No. And see, that, that shows true leadership, folks, because he gets it. He gets that, hey, Joel's running the company. We are the distributors out in the field making the sales. He's making sure that the autoresponder works right, that the lead capture system's working right, that the videos are getting ready for the now, now body lifestyle. And, and that's, that's what creates leadership. He's putting little things together that are helping others. That's what attracts people to him. That's the difference, folks. You know, these are really good. So anybody who's an emerging leader, folks, which means you've got one person on your team, just one, create a group with that person and you'll watch it duplicate. And, and, and that's the key and rely on nobody. Daniel didn't come to me and said, hey, you need to be in my group uh, because I need your help moving forward. He just created that group. That's it. Now, does he come to me when there's a, a true issue? Of course. And, and this is what attracted me to Daniel. Um, he started using the autoresponder. There was a slight challenge. He was on the wrong IP pool. So one of his first emails went into spam. Now, normally I would get, oh, Jesus 
Christ and blah, blah, blah. It's not very good autoresponder, blah, 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 blah. And he just hit me up on Skype. He said, hey, Joel, my first email went to Sam. Is Can you take a look at that for me and see what we can do? And then we corrected the issue. We put him on a different pool of IPs. And I was like, there's a cool dude. You know, did, didn't fly off the handle, realize that technology is technology. And every time there's something that he needs help with, he's just very polite and, and very positive about it, even though it could be technically a negative situation. And that's the difference, folks. He, I didn't attract him into my life. He attracted me into his life because he's already resourceful. He's already showing the leadership skills. He already knows what he's doing. And that's, that's, that's what you need to do, folks, is you don't need to have the resources here because you have the resourcefulness of other people. Just do little things like that. So I'm, I'm like verbal diarrhea, because, but it's just because I see it so often. You know, you're no different than anybody else. You're an amazing person, great positive energy. I would have ne never known that you had any health challenges in your family because of your positive energy. But yeah, you're no different than me. You're no different than anybody else. You, you decided, you made a decision. But I love the little help tools that you're doing. And, and I say it in a different way. I say put people through tests. But I love your way even better, which is you can see who's taking action. If people are taking action, then those people are worth working with. You know, if, if somebody watches, so if your video is 50 minutes on YouTube and somebody goes, ain't got no time for that, well, you don't have time for them. I mean, really, you're going to start an international autoresponder business, health and wellness business, but you don't have time to watch a 45-minute training video? It, it, it's kind of ridiculous, right? So um, kudos to you uh, on, on creating that stuff. Anything else you want to share? Because this is like really good stuff. <laughs> I'm going to replay this a, a billion times, you know? <laughs> um, I don't know. I think, you know, I mean, it's just – it's all about taking action. And I, I think part of this is some of the experience that helped with some of this. And also part of it is, is just, you know, like I said, just making that decision to take action. So, I mean, I'll, I'll give you guys a real life example is that <clears throat> I've only been doing now lifestyle for four weeks. Right. And literally my very first week, I think I made five or six now lifestyle videos because you guys got to realize the time here is like one, we're in pre-enrollment. So, you know, we're not live to the public yet. We haven't launched, like we're ground floor. So it's amazing opportunity, but it's also amazing an opportunity for any of you. It's not, it's like, realize this, it's not too late. It's not too late. So I made several videos and I work, I rank them with keywords on YouTube and I just made videos going through you know, I saw some of the other videos of, of now lifestyle on YouTube. And I think there's, there's a handful of them. Like if you just go to YouTube and you search now lifestyle, there's a few of them and they're kind of like a whole system overview. So I was like, all right, well, what can I do that could be a little different? How could I get my videos right on the front page? If somebody searches now lifestyle and you know, the, the rankings change every day, but I was like, all right, I'm going to make a video about the now lifestyle autoresponder. I'm going to make another video about the now lifestyle lead capture system. I'm going to make another video about the now lifestyle now university. I'm going to make another video about the now lifestyle reseller tools. And so I kind of broke down each segment. Then I did a training video. So, and then also to help with that as well is I did on one of the reviews of the whole system, I did a live YouTube feed which is going to help with rankings because YouTube recognize it's like Facebook live, like yeah. Facebook live is going to go to the top of the newsfeed because it's their software. And so literally within my first week, I took action. I took action. I didn't sit back and go, well, let's just see how this thing does. It's like, I took action and I knew that now is a great time. So that way, if I fast forward six, 12 months from now, like my videos, how many views are those videos going to have at that point? As this thing goes public and people really start putting their eyes on it, it's like my videos are going to be hanging out there just getting view after view after view. And what that's also going to do is maybe get me some more business because my links are in the Dropbox below as you know, you guys here in the capture page of the VSLs all the time. So, you know, you got you to gotta recognize an opportunity when you see one and take as much action as you possibly can and kind of to quote T. Harv Eker, like you want to live on the edge of your comfort zone. So if you're going to like really go for this, you know, and here, here's another golden nugget. Think about this. Like if you're going to invest in paid traffic, one, you know, 
do your homework and, and make sure that you go with a reputable traffic source. And everybody's going to tell you that they're a great traffic source, but, you know, reach out to, you know, the folks in the now lifestyle team, reach out to other successful uh, affiliate network marketers and say, Hey, what are you using? What do you recommend? Whatever. Sometimes people are going to say, I recommend this because there's an affiliate offer attached to that. But um, you want to take action and, you know, live on the edge of your comfort zone and push yourself as much as you can. Yes. Well, even if, I, I, even I, I, even if you, I like what you say about just on the edge, because I think some people, if this is their comfort zone line, they think they got to live way over here where they're literally crapping their pants 24 mm seven. -hmm. You don't need to do that folks. If this is your comfort zone, just live on the edge because that creates growth. And what is, what happens is that comfort zone edge moves with you moves along. So anyway, I just, I just want to say that you don't have, some people think it's a big, huge, giant leap of faith to where you're scared to death and, and it doesn't need to be that way. Yeah. And you're hundred percent right. Your comfort zone does move with you. It's not like your comfort zone stays there. And then, you know, two weeks later, it's like, you're this guru of the industry. It's like, no, you're, you're constantly learning, constantly expanding, constantly pushing yourself financially, mentally, uh, in a, in a lot of different ways. But Think about if you want to launch your business, number, the number one thing you got to start doing is getting eyes on your offer. So you got to start driving traffic. Now you can do that organically. You can do that with Instagram. You can do that with Facebook. You can do that with YouTube, but you also maybe want to find a balance. And if you can do paid traffic, that is how, now when I say paid traffic too, I mean, could be solo ads, could be Facebook advertising, uh, could be social media clicks. There's many different ways to do paid traffic, but do as much as you possibly can barely afford as much as you possibly can. So you can get that momentum right out of the gate. And then whatever you, whatever package that you decide on commit to that for the next 90 days. And the reason why I say is you want to have a 90 day traffic game plan because a lot of people, what they'll do is like, all right, you know what? I'm going to go, I'm going to buy 500 clicks. I'm going to throw it at my offer and I'm going to sit back and see what happens. Oh, you know what? I got, I got 150 leads and nobody signed up, oh, man. Now I'm out 500 bucks. This doesn't work, whatever. No, what you want to do is you want to say, all right, you know what? I'm going to do 500 clicks this month. I'm going to do 500 clicks next month. I'm going to do 500 clicks the month after that. And now I'm going to focus on my follow-up. I'm going to work on my email marketing. And while I'm at that, I'm also going to start plugging away at maybe Instagram or Facebook or whatever. But I would also caution you this. In the world of social media marketing, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, whatever it is, pick one thing and get really, really good at it. So if you're going to do Instagram, do it. I love Instagram. I use Instagram gets me leads every single day. Um, but I also took action on Instagram too. But just do Instagram, be consistent with it. Post every single day, have a good bio, have a call to action in your bio, have a good domain link a domain link that is not like now lifestyle with Dan.com. Like, no, have something that is generic and user friendly to the industry, like success with Dan.com learn with Joel.com, like stuff like that. Yeah, my and, mind is even though I own GVO now lifestyle, everything, it's just Joel Terrian.com. That's my yeah, mind. exactly. Yeah. As we were saying earlier, brand yourself, Yeah, yeah. you know, so. brand yourself, but you know, get good at one thing from a social media aspect. And then, you know, maybe that one thing is Facebook ads. Maybe, you know, you're learning how to do Facebook ads and you can go to YouTube and spend hours on learning how to do Facebook ads. Like I have a Facebook ads, like how to, how to put together a basic Facebook ad for five bucks. Learn how to do that. Experiment with it. Get good at it. In the background, you're running some paid traffic. You're playing with this over here, but don't take on too much, but take action. Mm -hmm. Take action, commit to a plan and give yourself a long-term plan. So that way, Number one, you can start getting results. Number two, you're going to be consistent and, you know, you're not going to get frustrated when, you know, you try one thing and it doesn't work and now you're ready to throw in the towel. So, but you got to, of course, circle it all the way back to, have I made my decision? Is it concrete? Do I have my goals written down? Do I have my vision board? Do I know my why? Is my why powerful enough that if this doesn't work, I'm just going to pick the next thing and keep going. Yeah. One more question for you. A lot of great tidbits. What did you see in Now Lifestyle and what do you like about it? Why did you join the team? Um, I'll be honest. I mean, I was a big fan of uh, Online Sales Pro. 
And because of the online sales pro community and the online sales pro team, that's when I first heard of now lifestyle. And originally, um, I'm using for my autoresponder, I'm using Aweber. I have a list of over 9,000 people. And, you know, I, I, I built that list in the last eight months. So wow. if, if wow. I can do it, that's guess what? Thing. You that's can do it because I was consistent now. And again, I'm not, I'm just saying that to brag. I just want to share with you guys, like what's, what's possible if like, you know, Dan from New Hampshire can, can build a list um, of thousands of people. you like, you guys can too. And, but the point is like with Aweber, like my, my open rates suck. And most of those leads are uh, Instagram, social media driven. So which tend to be um, like a better quality, you know, better quality person than say somebody from a solo ad, which might be a crap email address, or it might be someone that's, you know, been, have, they've been spammed 97 offers in the last month and they click on every single one. But I, I learned about the now lifestyle autoresponder. I heard a lot of good things about it and me, like I'm resourceful. I'm someone who's going to do my homework before I get into something. So once I heard about this now lifestyle autoresponder that it gets good open rates, it's, it's high quality, you know, I, I kind of learned about the technical stuff with some of the IP stuff that we don't need to get into. But so one of the things that I did is I actually messaged out to some of the guys in online sales pro uh, sales pro to say, Hey, uh, what, what are you hearing about this autoresponder? Does it sound good? Whatever. Oh yeah, we've been testing it, been getting good results, good open rates, et cetera. I was like, all right, cool. So I jumped in there for that. And, and then I started, <laughs> I started getting some of your emails um, and I was like, ah, all right, you know what? Let me take a closer look now that I'm, now that I'm already in the system, let me watch some of these videos. And then I watched the video about the binary system. I watched the video about uh, the compensation plan where you got the dry erase boards and you're kind of going through. And I was like, you know what? This seems kind of cool. And then, hey, circle back around to the network that you're working. Uh, I talked to Nick Anderson. Nick, Nick, Nick Anderson was also in Now Lifestyle. And he was, he was just above me because he had gotten sponsored in by, from Joel over at Online Sales Pro as well. And he called me up and he's like, he's like hey, let's, uh, let's come up with this plan and let's, let's rock this out. And I was like, yeah, sounds like a good idea. And then um, so literally right from that day, I made my decision with now lifestyle that yeah, I still have two other affiliate businesses that I do, but I made the decision to uh, go all in with now lifestyle. And, you know, four weeks later, like the team is, is going every single day and uh, the income's pretty nice too. And um, you know, obviously I just saw, I saw the value in that. And for me, even though, yes, uh, I, I have a washboard stomach, I'm just, I'm doing a little bit of laundry right now. So I'd like to, I'd like to do, do more laundry and, and show off that washboard stomach. So, um, you know, I, I can't, I can't wait to get into the, um, the now body tab. I can't wait to actually, uh, like for me, no matter what I do, whether it's, you know, my other affiliate offers or whatever, like once I commit to something, I like to be a product of the product. So, you know, I'm going to do the meal plan. I'm going to do the exercises. Obviously I'm going to support the business and everything else. But, uh, for me, it was just, it was just timing. I mean, once I really saw the opportunity and I was in there, and I, I saw the, the value and the potential of it. And obviously, I think another cool thing was realizing that being part of Online Sales Pro, uh, for those of you guys that don't know Vincent Ortega Jr., he's very huge into uh, the network marketing, affiliate marketing, and just digital entrepreneurship. And for him to say, you know, Joel Terrian is my mentor. It's like, oh, so it's the mentor's mentor, you know? And I was like, all right, let me, let me pay more attention to who this Joel guy is. And as I did, I started to see again, more value and just ground floor opportunity and the ability to like be part of that timing and to lock in my position. So that way, three, four, five, six, 12 months from now, it's like, yeah, that was a good decision. That was a really good decision. So, um, well, based on your income, I think it's a really good decision already. I would say it's a fantastic freaking decision right now. So, I mean, some, you got to realize this, like, and I, I've been you this way with it. you worked your ass off for it. And I know that I just want people to know that it's not like money popped into your account. You're you've been working it really hard and really, yeah. stuff, you know? well, like what I said, I mean, like for, as soon as I started to take action, like I was making videos, I was doing, I was showing people how to use the system. I was going through doing the step-by-step -step training and then I was creating the group chats, but some of that came from experience. And some of that came of me just like think, I think of ways of how can I free up my time? How can I create leverage? And how can I also create a community where people are going to learn? And um, 
just like if, you know, in the network marketing field, if you guys don't know who uh, Eric Worre is, he's a great network marketing trainer, really good dude. Um, But he has, he has so many good teaching, so many good, um, you know, lessons out there. One of the things he talks about a lot is, especially in the network marketing space, sometimes people have to see an offer six or seven times before they decide that they're either going to buy something or join. And probably with now lifestyle, I probably did that too. You know, I probably looked at it a bunch of times before I said, yeah, I'm going to go for this. So you guys got to realize that some people are going to see the value right off the bat and some people it's going to take a little bit longer. And with just about everything that I've gotten into, whether it be now lifestyle or my other businesses, you know, with the exception of one, it wasn't like, yep, I'm doing it. Let's go. It was like, all right, let me take a look at it. Let me watch some videos. Let me do my homework. And, um, and, and then I got involved. So, you know, it's a, it's a process, but you, again, you just got to realize that everybody's different to each his own. And if you just stay consistent, stay positive, make your decision and, and you never quit, then, you know, you're going to get results. All right. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I'm just, Looking at some of the comments here, they're all just amazing, positive, amazing comments. Guys, can we give uh, give um, Daniel a electronic applause, just a bunch of A's? This is probably one of the best informational webinars. Some of the golden nuggets in here, Daniel, you're, you're, you're um, I, I'm allowed to say this because I'm older than you. You're wiser than your years. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, no, like, I mean, you, you, you can tell that you become a student of the industry. You become, uh, you know, you do your homework. You did obviously make a massive mental commitment to this industry, now lifestyle or any other business, folks. And I'll be the first CEO to tell you, look, go and do other affiliate offers, too. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. That's, that's, that's called smart, right? So I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart, folks. Lots of A's for Daniel in the chat. Um, any final words that you'd like to say, my friend, or uh, I'd love to have you back again, maybe in another month or so as a quick follow-up because uh, your story is compelling. Uh, God bless you, your, you, your wife, and your son. I, I hope everything turns out well, and I know it will. Uh, any final words? Um, no, I mean, I, I think honestly, guys, just um, like I said in the beginning, uh, as far as you get good at telling your story and Make sure that you guys know and understand your why. Make sure that you guys have that locked and loaded. And ultimately, you just have to decide. You, you just have to decide that, yes, this is something I want to do. And don't just, once you make that decision, don't just dip your toes in the water. Just go for it. Just go all in. And don't be afraid of, of, of what's going to happen because you know that you can always, always, always circle it back towards your decision. If you make the decision to go for it, no matter what roadblock, I mean, you could run out of money. You could run out of money and be like, I don't have any money for paid traffic. I don't have any money for Facebook ads. I, I just don't know what I'm going to do. Well, you know what? Then get resourceful because you made your decision. Go onto YouTube and search, you know, how do I get free leads on Facebook? Mm-hmm. That's what I did in the beginning. That's what I did is I, I and I did that. And I actually, um, oddly enough, go figure out, like I created videos of <laughs> how to do that. I just invest, learn, teach. I saw somebody else do it. I made a video, I copied it. And now I have people learning how to do it for me. But the point is like, once you make your decision, like you'll find ways, you'll get resourceful, you'll figure it out. This business can seem so overcomplicated and so technical sometimes like autoresponders. How do I set this up? Lead capture? What is all that crap? at the end of the day, guys, you got to realize that this is a very simple business. It's a people business and we're in the business of building relationships. So don't overcomplicate it, make your decision, know your why commit to it and never quit all the other stuff. Like if you have that stuff in place, all the other stuff along the way, you're going to figure out. But if you let that other stuff be a roadblock, then it's going to be a challenge for you, but just be honest with yourself, commit to it, decide that this is what I want to do. These are results. This is where I want to be. Write it down, have it in front of you, create a vision board, whatever you need to do. Always commit to yourself, invest in yourself, your own personal development. But again, back to the decision-making process. Once you make that decision, all the other stuff you'll figure out. Mm -hmm. You'll figure all that stuff out if you make the decision. If you don't, that other stuff will pull you right down into the murky waters and it's not going to work. So make your decision. (laughs) 
Awesome. Well, you are an amazing individual. You rock, my friend. Looking forward to, I'm going to be, I told him I'm flying him to San Antonio soon. And you know what's cool about Daniel? I said, you want to do a webinar? He's like, heck yeah, man. I'm like, do you want to come to San Antonio? He's like, heck yeah, man. I want to come to San Antonio. So we'll see you here soon. That will be the next live feed. We'll be doing a workout together. We'll be doing some laundry on the washboards together. It'll be uh, a lot. So thank you, Daniel, for your time. You're an amazing individual. Thank you for sharing your story. I know sometimes that's not easy to do. Uh, and uh, folks, just a big thanks again in, in the chat for Facebook. Thank you to everybody who's watching because without having the audience, uh, none of this could happen. So thank you, my friend. Have yourself an amazing day. And uh, I'll be in touch for sure. Thank yeah, I can't wait, man. We're actually uh, on a plane tomorrow. We're taking our little guy to Disney World. So, Oh, awesome. Fired up for that. Enjoy that event. Take care, buddy. Have an awesome day. All right. Talk soon. Bye. Bye-bye.